Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa deputized the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa to attend the official signing ceremony for the chair in the name of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa at La Spienza University in Rome to teach dialogue, peace and inter-religious understanding. His Highness Sheikh Nasser addressed the gathering highlighting the role of education in adhering to the principles of tolerance, coexistence and acceptance his Highness pointed out to the key values of His Majesty the King in striving to instill education in Bahrain. He shed light on the responsibilities to be agents for positive social change, adding that a well-educated, open-minded individual will contribute to a brighter future for his or her country as well as to the sustainability of the globe. Your Excellency, Mr. Eugenio Gaudio, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I would like to thank La Spenza University and Bahrain Federation for Expatriate Associations for their tremendous efforts in bringing us all together today. And I hope that this gathering will be crowned with success and will strengthen relations between us all and support the cooperation between our nations. I do not have a keynote address or an opening speech, but I have a couple of thoughts that you might want to keep in the back of your minds throughout and beyond this gala dinner. The inauguration of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's Chair of for Peaceful Coexistence at La Spienza University of Rome, one of the oldest and most prestigious educational institutions in Europe, was not by coincidence but by careful design. It's symbolic of the key value of his, his Majesty has been striving to inst instill in our nation education. Education in all terms or in all forms, whether academic excellence or life lessons in adhering to the principles of tolerance, coexistence and acceptance. Recent years have tested our nations across the globe they have brought our the best and the worst, but they enable us to realize our strengths and weaknesses. The steep social, political, and economic learning curves have taught us that with a culture of coexistence, there is nothing that our nations cannot endure. Now more than ever, my generation has a huge responsibility to be agents for positive social change, a well-educated, open mind individual in Bahrain or Italy doesn't only contribute to a brighter future for his or her country, but to the, but to the sustainability of our globe. During my school days, I was always inspired by the sense of unity and togetherness in our school sports team. Despite our differences, we work together to utilize our individual strength and eliminate our weaknesses for the success of our team. My firm belief in sports as a vehicle for positive and social behavioral change for the individual and common good has also inspired me to set up a foundation for the promotion of such ideals locally and globally. We need to continue to inspire and be inspired. We in Bahrain are embarking on a journey in pursuit of excellence for our nation under the leadership of His Majesty. And we remain appreciative for the support and encouragement by our international friends and partners. It is my pleasure this evening to convey His Majesty's order to the Royal Charity Organization to provide financial support to the students and families affected by the recent series of earthquakes that hit your nation. Our country remains firmly in support of your and we are keen to help alleviate any obstacles that could impede the educational journey of your students. 
Finally, I would like to thank the attendees of This Is Bahrain, wishing them all success in achieving the aspired goals. <laughs> wishing them all successes in achieving the aspired goals, visions, common ambitions, and more constructive cooperation between our two nations. Let us all work together to help our people become citizens of the world. Thank you. His Highness is the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Honorary President of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Association, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the first local amateurs boxing tournament organized by Harley Davidson Company and supervised by Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Association. Upon arrival, His Highness was received by the Bahrain National Circuit Chief Executive Officer, Sheikh Salman bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Chairman of the Association of Harley Davidson Owners Group in Bahrain, Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Chairman of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Association, Colonel. Khalid bin Abdul Aziz Al Khayat and a number of the association's members and Harley Davidson Company's employees. His Highness attended the championships competitions, which included 20 amateur players from various clubs in the kingdom. His Highness hailed the positive participation in this championship, praising the status that the first version of this sports assembly had achieved. Sheikh Khalid stated that the aim of this championship is to make this world sport known in the Bahraini sport field. He also commended the efforts of the Harley Davidson Company and the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Association in organizing the championship, wishing the association success. The Shura Council affirmed while participating in This is Bahrain the importance of the participation of the legislative authority in events that reflect Bahrain's civilization and democracy. The Council affirmed that Bahrain is a country of peace, security and stability for its people and it believes in the openness, diversity, coexistence and forgiveness. Chairwoman of the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee at the Shura Council, Dalal Zaid, then delivered a presentation on the participation goals of the Shura Council delegation. Members participating in the event praised the wise leadership of the Kingdom of Bahrain and their efforts enhancing relations with different regional and international countries. The Shura Council affirmed that Bahrain embodies a civilized model of unity and coexistence among different religions, sects and cultures thanks to the democracy and justice and the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. This is Bahrain in Rome has been a multifaceted affair consisting of an exhibition conference, high-level meetings with Italian and European Parliament members, interfaith exchanges and a gala dinner steeped in Bahraini culture. But most significant has been the signing of bilateral accords between La Spienza University of Rome and the University of Bahrain and Applied Science University, facilitating the exchange of ideas, students and teachers. This is Bahrain will leave a lasting legacy transmitting His Majesty the King's vision of interfaith dialogue for peaceful coexistence. Daniel Del Porto explains in this report. As the This is Bahrain International Roadshow has been growing, so has its impact. On the sidelines of the Italian edition, agreements were signed that will create a lasting legacy, reflecting the Bahraini model of internationalism, education and cooperation, promoting peaceful coexistence. The University of Bahrain signed an agreement with La Sapienza University of Rome to facilitate student exchange programs coinciding with UOB's 30th anniversary celebrations. Today was a great day for the University of Bahrain as we signed uh, the uh, agreement uh, with uh, the University of Spinoza in uh, Italy, one of the oldest universities in Europe and in Italy, uh, founded in the year 1300 uh, with almost uh, or actually more than uh, 100,000 students. Uh, we are excited at the uh, University of Bahrain to sign this agreement with them. Most significantly, it was made official that a chair will be opened in the name of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa at La Sapienza University to educate people about interfaith dialogue and collaboration in line with His Majesty's vision for promoting the peaceful development of societies around the world. Education plays a major role in creating a generation of people who believe in, 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 in peace and living together, uh, working together, and it will be a pleasure for us to be working with our Italian counterparts uh, to develop uh, research and teaching and exchange of staff and students' programs, and of course His Majesty the King's Chair in interfaith 
dialogue and tolerance will create the opportunity for us to do a lot of research in this area. This is an incredible seat to have a chair in his name uh, to promote tolerance, uh, peace, coexistence. It's really good for the education sector in general, primary school, secondary school, uh, high schools, uh, higher education institutions, uh, where they can build on the momentum and create the opportunity for all of us uh, to provide evidence that when people live in peace, in coexistence, they perform even better. Many students and faculty members from La Sapienza attended the This is Bahrain event in Rome and found themselves surprised and impressed by the diversity of Bahraini society showcased. All agreed that the establishment of the chair in His Majesty's name holds much promise as a method for combating the extremism that threatens peace in many places around the world today. We are really, really grateful to Bahrain for supporting this chair. Uh, this chair will be devoted to multicultural study, to dialogue between civilizations. And so, and we as a university, as a public Italian university, we do really think that's what is needed in today's world. So it's really uh, a good piece of our cooperation and I hope every kind of cooperation will be like this. So thanks Bahraini friends. First of all I like the way you're, Bahrain is so tolerant to people from different uh, religions. That is so so wonderful. I think the whole world should be like that. I've always wanted to visit Middle East. Maybe Bahrain will be my first country. Maybe when I come there I will get a chance to see you and more of the other people that I've met here. Yeah, this is such a wonderful event. Bahrain is a microcosm of the world, being home to people of different nationalities and faiths who live together in harmony and prosperity. This atmosphere has come about not solely due to the local hospitality. Education and dialogue are key to mutual understanding and respect, and it is in this spirit that the educational records have been met. Reporting for Bahrain International from Rome, Italy, I'm Danielle DePorto. The This is Bahrain International Roadshow began in London in May of 2014 and has since traveled to Berlin, Brussels, Paris, New York and Washington. The latest edition was held in Rome, Italy with more components and participants than ever before. We go back to Danielle that brings us this report. This is Bahrain in Rome lived up to its billing as the largest and most colorful event to date. The exhibition was filled to capacity, featuring around 100 exhibitors representing Bahrain's varied educational institutions, religious faiths, societies, associations and NGOs. And the reception drew a large crowd of Italians, in addition to the Bahraini delegation of around 300 people. The event was organized by the Bahrain Federation of Expatriate Associations, under the auspices of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser um, uh, attended us this evening, which was a great honour for us, um, as His Majesty's personal representative um, for This is Bahrain in Rome. And um, His Highness also commented on how large the exhibition was now. And after that, we went through to have um, a traditional Bahraini wedding feast. Um, we had the um, multi-award winning Bahrain Police Band, and we had a multi-faith wedding ceremony where we had multi-faith couples from several European countries and from Bahrain um, who came together to share their, their wedding joy. And we had a Bahraini Jilwa, the traditional Bahraini wedding feast, with the music and the drums and the bride and um, the throwing of the mashmoom, which was a great hit. Everyone was commenting on the beautiful smell, the fragrance from mashmoom. Um, the Italian people were really amazed at uh, how colourful and beautiful the traditions in Bahrain. The couples who were blessed in the multi-faith wedding ceremony will now be welcomed to Bahrain, where their unions will be celebrated with a full traditional Bahraini wedding. I am very happy to be here and uh, I uh, thanks to the King uh, of Bahrain. Thanks a lot for the King of Bahrain for this. Uh, it's very nice people in Bahrain. Um, all people is very good uh, with uh, uh, with uh, my husband and uh, and hi. All those touched by This is Bahrain at all of its international destinations become messengers for the Bahraini model of diversity with love and in peace 
reflecting His Majesty's vision for the future and Bahrain's own centuries-old traditions. The This is Bahrain International Roadshow continues to grow in both size and diversity with each destination. The main reception, hosted by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa as representative for His Majesty the King, had around 800 people in attendance from both the Bahraini and Italian sides and showcased the best of Bahrain's culture and global citizenship. Reporting from Rome, Italy, for Bahrain International, I'm Danielle Deporto.